All right, guys. Today, uh, me and Min are going to show you the some good exercises to do when you're going through potential kind of disc pain for the lower back. So we're going to take you from the early stages, the mid stages, and the um, kind of late stages. Now, as we discussed before, generally in the early stages, because our movements can be really restricted, everything's going to be quite, quite painful, we tend to have a direction of preference, okay? So that means we might be going forward or going backwards. Min, I know you have a particular favorite exercise that you like to do in this stage. Yeah, when patients come in, this is very early onset of acute uh, disc pain. I normally start with the McKenzie extension. So uh, let me demonstrate this. So if you lie on your front, like so. Yes, yeah, so if you put your forearms onto the floor like that, perfect. Yeah. I normally tell these patients it's a, basically a reverse press up. So all you're basically doing is you're lifting your chest up like this, and then you're yeah. going back down, and then you're going back up. Now this basically quite helps force the disc to go uh, back in and helps reduce some of the symptoms of the pain that you're getting. Um, I normally tell people to do three sets of 30 and try to do it three times a day if they can. Can we go a little bit further as well, potentially? Uh, yeah, so uh, when, you start, when the pain starts reducing more and more and more, you can start going further. So you can start going all the way up into your, all the way up into your wrist like this. Uh, but use pain as an outcome measure for this, I, I would suggest. What about with regards to when you're dealing with leg pain? I know the McKenzie extension is quite famous for the kind of leg pain symptoms. I think it's a good, uh, good one to use as an outcome measure because when you get leg pain, once you start doing the McKenzie extension, that leg pain should start reducing, start to become more centralised. If it starts to become more centralised, that means you know that the, the symptoms are reducing and the disc pain is becoming more central to this specific area. So we're more focusing more on the... More so when you say centralising, so it's coming out of, out of, the, out of the legs into the, in, into the lower back, yeah. Okay, but what if it goes the other way, though? We can use another exercise. We can use a child pose position. So, yeah, so we're going back. So if we're, we're not doing very well with uh, extension, then we can do a little bit of flexion. Yeah. So if you stay down like that and just stretch your arms out as far forward as you can, and I normally tell people to do three sets, 30 seconds, or what do you normally do? You tend to do oscillations, right? Well, yeah, I like to do a little oscillations, potentially at the... Uh, at the quite start of an injury, just because people don't like being in the uh, kind of posi like a position for a long period of time. I'd probably recommend uh, doing this little and often, like 10 repetitions every hour or two, just because when we kind of sit down or we stay in a certain position for a long period of time, we tend to stiffen up and our symptoms come back, uh, particularly at that starting stage. There's two other stretches I give as well. I think yeah. after you do the McKenzie extension and the child pose one, I normally give two stretches to basically start with, so that's where we know that the, the, the disc pain is reducing a lot and then we start moving on to more general exercise. So I normally give the uh, leg over the leg over your body one, so lie on your back. Okie dokie. So what I normally tell patients to do is, yep, bend this knee, hold on to this side on the outside of your, of your knee and you're just pulling it towards you this way, just gently, gently, gently. And you should normally feel a stretch going across here to around here. You can obviously swap over, do the other side. I normally mention three sets, 30 seconds, and try to do it twice a day if you can. Again, pain is your outcome measure. If you push it too much and it's painful, then just uh, stop pulling it just before that before that point. And you, okay, cool. That does feel pretty good. You said about another stretch? Yeah, so basically, uh, it's basically the child pose one, but I just adapt it a bit. So if you just get back into the child pose position. Yep. So, uh, Bottom onto your heels, okay, arms crossed. Stretch your arms out as far as you can, good. Now, what I normally tell patients to do when they get into this position here, bring this arm in a straight arm over the other one, all the way over, all the way over, and they'll feel a pulling sensation coming across the lats all the way down to their oh, QL yeah, muscles. Really yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. Then you swap over, do the other side, and the same thing across here. And I normally tell again, three sets, 30 seconds, twice a day. Have you got one for a... Early stretch? An early stretch? Yeah. Oh, um, an early stretch. Yeah, so a good, like, again, talking about the kind of tightness in the hips, sometimes that I might do is people do like the old pigeon stretch where you lie on your back and you bring your leg over right. and we can stretch that hip like so. Okay, it gets the piriformis as well. Yeah, it gets the kind of the victimized piriformis. But yeah, that's a nice little early one I like to do. So what about kind of the, the mid-stage, Min? What do we do then? Uh, Mid-stage ones, I normally start off going to a strengthening exercises. So I do, I normally give three types of strengthening exercises. So let me demonstrate it. So first one, a bridge. Come lie on your back. 
Back again. Sorry, mate. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> All right, so bridge, uh, very simple bridge to do. I normally get pitch to go arm across your, sh your chest. Yep. Roll your hips backwards like so, and then you're lifting your bottom. So we're kind of tucking our tailbone under. Yeah, and lift your bottom all the way up, 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 up. I normally tell patients to hold it for 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So quick 10, sorry. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and back down. Uh, again, three sets of five with a 10 second hold. An add on one is once they start feeling a bit stronger, they can do a one legged bridge. So, what I normally say is this uh, bring yourself into a bridge first, all the way up. Get your position because your body has to be completely straight down like this. <clears throat> and then lift one of your legs up. Perfect. Now, this leg should be in line with this one, not lower and not higher. Look this. Hold it for five seconds. You're tough, mate. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down and then swap over and do the other one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, back down. And I've got one more for the uh, mid strengthening stem. Should I demonstrate that to you, Carl? Yeah, go for it. What am I doing now? So, same position. Same position. So this is more like a, a bicycle exercise, but it's a good one just to start getting the core, core muscles activated as well. So arms across your chest. So we're gonna bring this leg out here straighten it out you go as low as you can to the floor but you just don't touch the floor bring it back up keep it up then you swap over and you bring the other one now it's like riding a bicycle and you're just going to keep going backwards and forwards don't touch the floor when you hit the ground that's it perfect keep going and we do three sets of 15 of those okay yeah i like this exercise i i can tend to kind of progress it a little bit get a little bit of the arms involved as well and turn it into a little bit of a, a dead bug so yeah. Again, challenges the lower back a little bit more. You're testing people, mate. I know, I know. <laughs> ah. right, what about for late? For late stages, oh, well, now I'm going to get you to work, Min. So, <laughs> so mate, like, generally, again, we want to load the back a little bit more so we can make it a little bit more resilient. So I like to do exercises that kind of work with today's kind of day-to-day -day activities, basically. So, Min, can you, can you show me your best squat? God. <laughs> Arms out this way. Oh, whatever, whatever's comfortable, whatever's comfortable. Oh God, I'm not really good at these. Oh, excellent. So again, now we're moving our lower back, we're moving our hips, we're getting those moving. Okay, we're strengthening our, our legs. And now we can vary up a little bit. We can carry some weight towards the chest or we can carry it in between the legs. Do you want to just demonstrate that? Obviously, we don't have any weights, but I'm sure you can show me. I'm going to hold a weight yeah. here. <laughs> so. Excellent. And again, like we're gonna be doing these kind of movements generally day to day. So the next exercise that I like to give is a lunge. Now you can do it in various ways. So Min, you can show us your kind of forward lunge. Perfect. Now this is a great exercise again, because we're getting our back moving. We're putting more load through it. We're changing our hips. Keep going, Min. <laughs> I, know you, I know it's tiring, yeah. We're ch changing our single leg kind of stability as well. And again, we can add some resistance. Now we can also do a kind of a reverse lunge, which I find tends to be a little bit easier on the lower back, especially so if it's at kind of a, an earlier stage. So it's a step back, Min. Excellent, perfect. Good, but it's a really great exercise to kind of strengthen up. Do you use pain as an outcome measure for any of these exercises? Well, it, it depends. I mean, like if it's maybe a little bit earlier on, well, and depending on the person's kind of history of exercise, if, if they're quite new to this kind of stuff, then maybe yes. If it's a little bit too sore for them, then I would say maybe hold back on the repetitions. Generally, a good pain barometer is if you can work into a little bit of pain, maybe around a two to three, whatever's tolerable pretty much. But if it's sharp and stabby or your form's going out, then we tend to probably kind of steer clear of that, if that makes sense. Yeah, I normally say don't move on to the next stage unless you've basically got the stage previously locked. Now, we're gonna go on to some more exciting stuff now, Min. All right, this is for the very late stages, for the people that are a little bit more athletic. So. What we're going to do now is, like, say, for example, you want to get into a hit class or you want to go into your sports and things like that. Min, do you know what a mountain climber is? No, but I'm pretty sure you've got to show uh, me. Well, yeah. So can you go into your press-up position? Right. Now, the mountain climber is a good exercise here because you're kind of, like, again, engaging the core. So straighten those legs up, please, Min. All right. And then basically just bring the knees to your chest. That's it. Okay. Now, this is a good exercise. Again, strengthen the core, moving the hips. But because we want to kind of get, make it a bit more sports specific, you might want to go a little bit quicker. So, Ming, can you go a little bit quicker? These socks aren't helping me. <laughs> <laughs> and again, 
generally when we're taking the load up, if we increase the speed, it challenges the body more. So the reason why sport tends to be a little bit more higher risk is because you're putting a lot more faster loads and higher loads through the back. Okay. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to bring, I want you to jump, bringing your knees in and out together. Okay. So both of them in. Ready? That's it. Go ready. That's it. Perfect, mate. And again, so you see how much we're moving the lower back here. Okay. But we're putting it under a lot of stress here. So this is why it's kind of a, a later stage. All right, man, you can stop now. Whew, you got a bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some, some examples of what you can do. Okay, obviously there's thousands of exercises, and obviously if you want to explore more and these exercises are not kind of working for you, make sure you kind of uh, search up your local physiotherapist and get a little bit more of a better idea. But thanks, guys.